I think I sent it way too far. Oh. I just like land here. Oh okay. wait, that or wait? What are we talking? Because you, if you're gnarly, you could gap off there and make oh. it down to that freaking leaf. Oh, hit that little mm. guy, but this you can actually pop off of. And then you land on this very safe, very yeah, grippy you land cedar in this, root. This little zone here. Zone of wet roots. It's one of the jumps on the trail that you can actually like do like a little whip table or whatever you want to do. Jamming salmon. Yeah. So Jack, are you doing with the full? I don't think I can make it. I think it'd be clunk, 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 clunk. I don't think it's wise after the <laughs> Mojo insane, Four, dude. I don't, yeah, it's so flat. Yeah, it's pretty much like landing flat. I think I'd need my 29er for that one. All right, here we go. Brandon shows how to do the jump correctly. Woo! All right, Jeff. You're good. Yeah. All right. Are you okay, Jeff? Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Hold on. 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 I think I'm okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. All right, just take a minute. Take a minute, assess your body. Here, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell me what, what hurts. Uh, Is it knock the wind out of yourself? Uh, I need to sit up. Okay, 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 okay. Legs down here. okay. Use your arms to hold you up. Ow, that hurt. Yeah. I'll just do my knees for a minute. <laughs> Oh, holy cow, that sucked. Oh. Did you hit the stump? Just land on it? I think I sent it way too far. Oh. How'd my bike end up up there? I put it up there so no one landed on us. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, you, that. you're bleeding from the head a little bit. Oh, I got my shoulder. I feel like I dodged a bullet. Holy cow. Oh. Don't even worry about it. This happens all the time. Oh telling myself, taking it easy, and then boom, going over clear of this thing and just blow up. You probably couldn't make your mind up whether you wanted to huck to flat or not. That really hurt a lot. Yeah, man. I didn't see it, actually. I just heard it. Did I get knocked out? You're kind of right there. I don't think you were all the way out, but... You were definitely... You, it didn't seem knocked out, but you seemed like you were definitely... Days. You were tangled in your bike, so yeah. I got my bearings. I just I'm not riding high performance. I'm done for the day with that. That was ridiculous. I feel like I overcleared it. Just like sent it way too big. I sent it further than I expected, and you washed out the front. Aha! Uh -huh, that was it. And front, and I think your head and body went right into here. I can ride out, but I'm not. No wheelies, no jumps, no going faster than second gear. I, I think. I think we're just gonna call it. Yeah. I'll come back out with you guys anytime. <clears throat> so what? I'll like... drive his van okay. home. Thanks. That's my first real concussion since Logan, since we've been filming together. Yeah, I don't think. It's kind of reassuring to me that you haven't seen like all kinds of Jeff gets knocked out instances. Disappointed, banged up, you know. <sighs> Memories are like flooding back bit by bit from the ride. Uh, I've had a bunch of concussions, and that's like the number one thing I don't want to have any more of are concussions, and there we go. Worst concussion I've had in years. I feel pretty okay, considering the size of that impact. Such an oh crap moment in the air, just like looking down and realizing I was off target. I was going to land flat and just landed on a big pile of roots that are slippery and smacked and as eh, bad. I'm going to take it easy for the next six to eight weeks. Yeah, again, another summer, taking it easy. Perfect. I gotta run and take a shower. I just wanted to film this before I got in the shower. I wanna give it four to six weeks before any kind of regular mountain biking with the whole head into the ground at high speed. So yeah, expect to see a bunch of Ooh. like bike review and story content coming out in the next few weeks. I have a ton of riding content saved up on my hard drive that I'll dole out as well. So lots of projects to get published and to edit and hopefully I can do some cross country riding. Stay fit. It's barely strong enough to hold the phone up. All right, let's see. Woo! Mmm. 
Good, how are you? Are we okay good. to shake hands? Yeah, we can do that. I'm trying to vlog this, so don't mind the okay, camera. Okay, sounds going. good. <laughs> um, nice to properly meet you. I think we met briefly at the bottom of the trail. Yeah. So like, I'm landing from like 15 feet up to flat, and I'm holding on and held myself up so I didn't smack the bike too bad. My fork bottom's out, my tire bottom's out on the rim, and then I just wash out because it's so slippery. Yeah. And then it's face first into the ground and tree and roots. Yeah. yeah, but what really hurts is, of course, like shoulders all black and blue and blown up from mm -hmm. the impact but that landing from so high up yeah. my back is just jacked for both the shoulder blades kind of hit the spine yeah but yeah a lot of what i do is stop physiotherapy and uh, a lot of corrective exercise and then bring your arms up as far as you can good and let's go up and over, over, over. yeah as far as you can just let it oh <sighs> too much all right, well, let's take a break. Yeah, let's take a break. Well, like, it hurts, but not terribly. You can just exhale and go a little further. Exhale and go a little further. Yep. And you just take it to that point of pain and back off from that, and that's your end range. With a non-functional left shoulder and arm and a very fresh head injury, I needed to take it very easy. So this, of course, means family time and lots of RC trucks. Yeah. Let's go. I'm thinking big. It's pretty cool. It's a big lake. There you go. <laughs> oh, you're off the trail. That is a little bit of a cliff, not too bad. Oh, oh, oh. Hi. Hope this fire starts getting bigger so we can put more logs on it. What if there's a bear that runs out of the woods? Rah, 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 rah. Be good. <laughs> no, it would not be good. Thank you. Shoulders feeling better, but still hurts. Time for a little bit of PT here at Apex Chiropractic and Rehab. Let's go see how Adam's doing. Woo. All right, my man. Come on back, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm camping with my kiddo. Oh, that's right. How did that go? It went well. And then I wake up just like, it hurts so bad right there. Not on the shoulder, but right there. Yeah. And then I put the e-stem patches on it and I run the e-stem for like an hour. Yeah. And that loosens things up to the point that I can stretch a little bit more and go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Let's see what we got here as far as range of motion goes. I just want to see how comfortably you can get up like this. And just let pain be your guide. It depends on where we're back. It was at 30 degrees last time, and you're at 115 degrees now, so that's much better. Yeah. I'm gonna push out. Okay, good. How's that feeling? That's not bad. Not bad. I thought good. it hurt a lot. Never had good luck with helmets fitting me. All right, let's go, uh, come on up, and let's go over some exercise. Pop out here. Just gonna work it up. But yeah, encouraging this range of motion can be super helpful. I feel that's pretty tight right there. Yeah, try and get your hand like over here. Oh, more to the left? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm stoked. Today's progress is bigger than Dude. any day the last couple days, last week or whatever, but. Dude, yeah. And your operations, Apex Chiropractic and Rehab, right? Yep. Cool. Yep. I do take most insurance carriers, cool. so cool. yeah. I'll say this, but just don't crash. That's basically. Yeah, I don't want to hit my yeah. head in anything <laughs> yeah. for at least a few more weeks. Yeah, for sure. Keep in mind that can change drastically, okay? Okay, we will do. All right. Thanks, Adam. Yep, you're welcome. A little bit of good news, flavor to some more good news. Shoulder feels better than it has all day. If you guys are in need of some chiropractic or some general physical therapy, give Adam a shout, he's here in Bellingham. Big thanks to all of you for supporting me by watching these videos. I couldn't do this if it wasn't for all of you. Big thanks. Let me know in the comments below, what would you be doing to pass the time and recover properly after an injury like this? Gee. I'm looking forward to the next few weeks of doing something a little bit different. Not being able to rely on just posting simple ride videos. It's a nice little challenge to help improve these video skills. If you haven't yet, click that red subscribe button below. That'll super help me out. Stay tuned. One of my best sponsors, Jensen USA, is supporting me big time and I'll have a lot of fun videos with them coming out. If you're looking for any kind of bike parts, definitely check out Jensen USA. I have them linked down below. I might be wearing my full face helmet more in the future. I, I don't know. I'm still undecided. Oftentimes there's a period after you get hurt where you need to like 
sort out in your head what's worth it or not, and I'm still in the midst of that, but I'll be back on the bike, don't worry. Thank you all for tuning in, I appreciate it so much. Look forward to seeing you next week. Bye! <laughs> Thanks.